Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Roberts, your pet's ally, and I wanted to start this episode out um, talking about some pups I really, well, one pup in particular I really miss. So in this picture, which is kind of all over the place with most of our marketing materials, there's three dogs here. Uh, the big white dog on the uh, left of me is Ollie, and the dog on the right of me is Esau. And in the middle is Sam, or Sam Ham. And in fact, on this uh, episode, there is uh, the sort of the notice for this episode, there's a great picture of him sitting under the surgery table at the office when he had just come to us. So we'd, we'd lost one of our own dogs, Nepenthe, in uh, November, and we adopted Sam in February. And so that is the first time in my life that I have been without a dog as an adult. And it was really weird, I gotta tell you. And I think most of you have had that experience. And it's really, it's really weird. It gives you pause and helps you remember how much of a role these companions play in our lives. And so I wanted to tell you a little story about Sam. Sam was adopted in 2010 from a, a group that works with Brittany Spaniels. And he came from a really high kill shelter in rural Georgia. And nobody really had any background on him. He showed up with problems in his rear end as far as walking. And he was actually sort of dragging his feet to the point where um, the toenails were getting scuffed off and his feet were all beaten up. And Sam could be a little bit of a pistol. Brittany's are, and Spaniels in general, tend to be very playful. They're clowns, they're hilarious, but um, they can be a bit of a pistol. And so I can see some gruff hunter got, you know, this is the story I tell myself anyway, right? We all have these stories we make up about our pets when we don't actually know the full truth. But my uh, story is that he did something that pissed Bubba off, and so Bubba kicked him in the butt. And who knows? Maybe a tree fell on I don't know. So that's the story I tell myself. Um, but as a result of that, he had some nerve damage to his uh, sacrum area. So, you know, right over the top of the pelvis, uh, he was very painful. And that's where this issue with dragging the feet, not being able to move the rear legs properly came from. But, you know, Sam was just a sweetie pie. But if you went to touch his rear end, he would get freaked out and would snap. And he did the most amazing thing. So bird dogs, so Esau is a setter, Sam's a Brittany Spaniel, they tend to be used for bird hunting. They have very soft mouths and what Sam would do is he'd get scared and snapped and put his mouth over your arm but not bite and he'd look like, oh dang it, I screwed up and be so embarrassed. He was so embarrassed. He had snapped at us. Um, but he was in a lot of pain. And like happens with us, if you're in chronic pain, you tend to really guard the part of the body that hurts. And the other thing I find interesting from my own experience in watching pets is it takes us a while to remember not to limp if we're feeling better. But all that aside, um, he, you know, he taught me so much. He looked just awful when he arrived. The shelter was doing, the rescue group, I should say, was doing the best they can. They were feeding Purina dog food, and he had the most foul gas imaginable. Uh, so the wonderful thing is, is we started cooking for him. The gas went away quickly, thankfully. His hair coat really got beautiful and shiny and pretty and that's sort of the the photo on the uh on the you know post for today was him once he started looking good again and he got calmer and more settled and you know things were better so we started working on okay now that we've got the easy stuff taken care of what else do i need to do to help this guy out so I implanted um, what's called cat gut suture, which actually is synthetic now, at acupoints over his sacrum. And that sounds a little crazy, but the idea is that that suture actually creates irritation. And so it commands 
the meridians to continue to focus on those points immediately. Other practitioners, and continuously as well, other practitioners will implant gold wires and things of that nature, but it's a good way to test whether things are going to work for him or not. And lo and behold, after several weeks, he'd had a splint on to help prevent him from, you know, breaking his feet so it would keep the foot in this position. And it really, that did help prevent a lot of damage and let his poor little toenails heal up. But lo and behold, within a couple of weeks, he was starting to actually place the foot more normally, both feet. Um, and he was able, we were able to take the splint off so that he didn't have to have that splint on all the time. He gained confidence. He started to be able to uh, play with other dogs and sort of in this period of time, we adopted Esau also from a ridiculous situation. Um, and so they got, you know, they got to be buddies and they could go outside and play and all of those good things. So we got to, um, you know, everybody and then, you know, sort of in April or May of that year, Ollie came uh, to us with a broken leg and we were going to just foster him, right? Yeah, you know how that worked out. Uh, at any rate, you know, here we have these three dogs. We have five cats, I think, at that point. And so we're going to have leg of lamb one Thanksgiving. And I came downstairs and uh, we had, you know, let it thaw in the sink because at that point, we thought it was okay to do that. Uh, so we came downstairs and Sam was in his crate just growling at everybody that walked by. <laughs> he was so fierce. Uh, and so I'm like, what are you doing in there? And so he, he wanted to growl at me and he's like, oh, oh, I shouldn't growl at mom. So I'm like, buddy, come on out of there. What are you, what are you doing? So he comes out of the crate and he's like looking at it like, this is, oh, no, my stuff, my treasure is in there. And I look in the crate and there's the leg of lamb out of the plastic covered with dog hair. And it's like, oh, nice, Sam. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so the cats had gotten it out of the sink, evidently, and gotten it to the ground and gotten, I don't know if they got the plastic off or if Sam got the plastic off or if it was a group effort, but Sam took it and hid it in his crate because he had a very tiny stomach. And so if he ate too much, he would vomit everything up. So he figured out to eat the amount he could handle and then go hide the rest. Um, he did a similar thing. Anyway, that's a whole nother story about Sam as well. So needless to say, uh, here it is Thanksgiving day. We had scrambled eggs for Thanksgiving and we made a special batch of lamb crock pet for everybody, which they really, really, really loved. So that's our Sam Ham story. We lost him, let's see, I guess that must have been 2015. And, you know, Sam had some other interesting quirks, and unfortunately he had thunderstorm phobia. But um, we lost him, I think, to a brain tumor. He, yeah, it was a really, it was a tough one. But I love Sam still, and I love thinking about his $1,000 butt wag. That's what we'd call it at work. He was able to come out and greet people at the office when, when Sundog Cat Moon was a new practice for me. And, you know, it just, he was one of the loves of my life. So what I'd love to encourage you to do is to share one of your favorite memories about one of your pets whether they're still with you or if they've passed on many years ago. Uh, you know, I just, I love hearing these stories and that's part of what I miss not being in clinical practice is the crazy things pets do and put us through our paces on. And, you know, just the, the joy and the love that they bring. Sam was truly a clown and he made me laugh every day. So I'd love to hear your stories. And I, I did want to share a couple of other things with you. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving is, uh, means the annual national holiday of Black Friday sales, which thankfully many companies are actually saying, eh, let's not, you know, let's not make our employees work the day after Thanksgiving. And so, you know, that, and because we have digital products, that's really easy for us. So on a side note, I, I wanted to 
let you know about a consultation I had with uh, Chris recently and she she wrote me back and you know was really grateful for the suggestions I could offer because she had gone as far as she could go with her regular veterinarian and what what she said is I had once consulted with an online vet um, for another dog due to skin allergies and she wasn't prepared for the consultation and her only suggestion was to wipe his feet when he came in from being outside which wasn't very helpful to say the least. She'd been she'd purchased the original crock pet diet some time ago and so she'd been watching her watching the post for crock pet in our private crock pet chefs community and the advice given and so we had a big question coming out about you know is there enough calcium in the diet and I was able to go through and talk about you know where it comes from and what it is and all of that good stuff and so the detail that I and Mona wants to come join too so the detail I had been able to give um, concerning the calcium supplement gave her enough confidence to know that a consultation for Webster would be well worth the money. And at the end of yesterday, the consultation, uh, she did feel that it was both time and money well spent. So I want to throw that out to you. For um, many people are not aware that I do consultations. And so that is something I love doing, love working with people, and it's part of what keeps the joy, and it's a way for you to get answers to questions that you're just not getting questions to. So, uh, having said all of that, if um, you'll start in, if you're on a, our email list, you will start to see some of these emails come across. So Black Friday until Giving Tuesday, um, there's some really awesome deals. One is um, our advanced care package. We're going to give a bonus of 12 holistic total body support jars, dog or cat, your choice, plus three months of iPets Ally, the optimal health package. Uh, same thing, three months of iPets Ally, plus six jars of holistic total body support. Any of the DIY programs, meaning do-it-yourself kind of health information, the original crock pet diet, our, my kidney health program, the gut instincts course, all of those. We're going to bonus three months of iPets Ally plus three holistic total body support. Um, and just on holistic total body support in and of itself, uh, we're going to reduce the price per individual jar to $15 each. If you buy three, you get it for $12 a piece, six for eight bucks a piece, and 12 for $7.50 a piece. And those prices on Holistic Total Body Support are already up in the store. The other specials will not pop up until uh, after the, the Black Friday sales start. Now, I mentioned Giving Tuesday, and our charity for this year is an organization I've worked with personally. Mary Jo and I were able to go down to uh, Roatan last year in the winter, and we worked with um, a teacher there that has, a, has already had a library set up by this organization, One Library at a Time. And they do awesome things. Um, they teach children and adults how to organize a library. They have, uh, you know, Americans uh, go down and help these folks set up a library. They've got a, Susan has set the, you know, started this in motion years ago, but it has been tremendous as far as building relationships and understanding across culture, and more importantly, giving children the ability to learn how to read, to expand their horizons. You know, the Delmi, the woman we worked with down in Honduras, told us that the children were so excited about being able to take a book home and read it to the rest of their family in English. And some of the books are in Spanish, but for many of them, their parents are not able to read well. And so they are able to share the gift of reading with their entire families. So that's on Tuesday. We'll end up donating 5% of the total sales to one library at a time. So love for you to help participate through this. Again, all these deals are gonna be good through Friday until Tuesday. And uh, 
love for you to take a, uh, advantage of them. Now, additionally, if you are not a bot subscriber um, through Messenger, one thing uh, I want to point out to you here, I'm going to pop that link in, there's a pet health quiz that you can take. And when you get into the uh, Messenger group, what we'll do is as these sales start, we'll send you a 5% across the board discount on everything in the store, including all of the stuff that's on sale. So I hope that makes sense. That's what I've got for you this week. Mona says, happy Thanksgiving. She promises not to eat any more bones. And we promise to keep the bones in the big trash can so that Pepe cannot threaten her. Until next week, remember, your pet's best health starts in the bowl. I'm Dr. Ruth Roberts, your pet's ally. Take good care.